Right, I, we have <laughs> moved places and I think that I have melted into the seat just to be able to have a view. But how amazing is that? That just gives you a clear idea of how, what a stunning tree this is and how beautiful Tamba looks up there. I think, wow, it was definitely worth coming around and now with the sun starting to shine and this beautiful golden light coming through and this magnificent jackalberry, I don't think we could ask for a better shot. This is just incredible. Yes, I think we can look at it again. That is just stunning. Really, really stunning. Whew. I am getting a bit dizzy. <laughs> Tamba, where are your manners? Dropping food like that. And there comes Standy. She keeps coming whenever he drops something. Maybe she's realized that it's easier not to fight her son and just wait for him to drop things. Now we're also here because if she does go up, we think this might be one of the best possible views. But no, 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 she's just carried on eating down there. Kobe, you're wondering if leopards control the flick of their tail. Well, they can, but it's just most likely it responds to some sort of subconscious um, attitude or mood that they're in. Often when they're thinking, when they're stalking, you'll see that their tail starts flicking. So they can, at some level, control it. But I think a lot of the times it just happens by instinct without them realizing that they're actually doing it. I think this is the best view from them especially now that his face is in this direction because it just gives you an idea of just how massive the branches of this jackalberry are. And I'm sure this tree is about maybe 150 to 100 years old, perhaps even more. And we've got a leopard that's a year old enjoying his meal on top of there. How amazing is that? <laughs> oh. Gorgeous tamba. It doesn't seem like there's too much left. I think he's pretty much finished with this kill. Ah! <gasps> yep, dropped it on top of mom. Yeah, you better be careful. It's the third time you've done that. <laughs> Luckily, Tandi is happy, so she's not giving Tamba too much trouble. He's being very thorough, licking the bones that he's got just to make sure that he takes out every possible bit of food from, from the bone but I think it's pretty much finished unless whatever it is that he dropped had a bit more meat and that's what Tandy's enjoying down at the bottom and she's pretty much just below him but the view is not great on her oh <laughs> okay watch out you don't fall <laughs> oh, maybe there was some more hanging on the other side that is beautiful Sorry. Thanks. Look at that face. These are some incredible. I think this might be my best leopard cub sighting on a jackalberry ever. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Lisa, you're saying you love the twists and turns of the branches. I do too. Jackalberries can be such magnificent big trees and of course a leopard is any tree's best accessory. Let's not make any mistakes. <laughs> but I think they chose well. And it's funny because this is one of those trees when you, it's a very prominent tree. So when you go onto this road and you mention and you just say, you know that big jackalberry? Everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, everyone knows exactly what tree you're talking about because it's a tree that's got character. And it's one of those trees where as soon as you start driving on a property, you're like, oh, I wish I could see a leopard up there one day. So I think the universe was open to our wishes and we got very lucky this morning. And even the rain stopped, which is amazing. Both of them are looking quite good. <laughs> Misha, you're saying he's making you hungry. <laughs> I think he's making all of us hungry because he's really enjoying that meal. 
look at his claws very powerful so we must remember that even at a young age this leopard cubs can be a force to be r reckoned with especially for us humans i mean i wouldn't really want to be touched by any of those claws in an aggressive manner because they could do a lot of damage but just proves that these are animals that are built for action even from a young age I don't think there's that much more meat left in there, little Tamba. Oh, well, he's been a vacuum cleaner. He's done a very good job. What? Also on top of mom, you are going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> oh, aren't you a big leopard movie? You're a killer on. Oh, this is incredible. Treading carefully. You're lucky because it's a big tree and the branches are quite big. <laughs> So he, he just had to reposition because I think the other spot wasn't the best, but I don't know if this is your best choice. There's a lot of bone crunching in answer to do leopards eat a uh, bone question that we had earlier on. So Tandy is definitely <coughs> crushing some of the bones here. She won't eat it all like perhaps a hyena would, but definitely some bones are being consumed at the moment. Yeah. I don't know if this was your your smartest call, Tamba. I think the other way that you were in was probably easier for you to eat. <laughs> leopard cubs will be leopard cubs. So much to learn still. <laughs> 